Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you the top 5 reasons why your brakes are making noise. Brake noise is something very common in cars and it is easily one of the most annoying things you hear when you're driving. So if your brakes are making noise, it tells you that something in your brakes may need some attention. Now you might only hear the brake noise as you step on the brake pedal. Or well, sometimes it could be continuous. So in this video, I'm going to take you through the 5 most common reasons why your brakes make noise and also what you need to know in order to stop the noise. Now that's enough talking, let's begin. So in your car, the wheels are attached to something called a wheel hub. Another thing attached to the wheel hub is the brake rotor. So when you drive the car, this brake rotor is also spinning along with the wheel. Then there's a brake caliper bracket. This goes over the brake rotor. Unlike the brake rotor, your caliper bracket doesn't spin. Then you have your brake caliper. This caliper gets bolted onto the caliper bracket using something called guide pins. This caliper has two guide pins. This allows the caliper to slide back and forth as you apply the brakes. Inside the caliper you have the caliper piston. Now this is a very basic hydraulic piston. When you step on the brake pedal, what you're actually doing is compressing a small hydraulic piston near the brake pedal. And by doing that you're creating enough hydraulic pressure to move this brake caliper piston. Then we have the brake pads. These brake pads get installed onto the caliper bracket. And you have the brake caliper goes over the brake pads. So when you apply brakes, this brake caliper pushes the brake pads against the rotor. This causes a lot of friction and that's how your car slows down. And that is all there is to it. So now you know how the brakes in your car work, so let's get to the brake noise. Basically there are two types of brake noise. Brake squeaking and brake grinding. Today I'm working on a 2007 Toyota Orion and I'm getting ready to do a complete brake job because in this car the both front brakes are making noise. The front left brakes are making a squeaking noise like this. And the front right brakes are making a grinding noise like this. And the brake system in this car is similar to the brake system in any other car. So this is a perfect opportunity to show you guys the reasons why your brakes make noise. Let's start with the brake squeak. The number one reason why your brakes are making noise is the worn out brake pads. Just to show you the difference between a new pad and a worn out one, here we have the old brake pads along with two replacement brake pads. We have a genuine brake pad and also a cheap aftermarket brake pad. Now in this new brake pad, you can see here we have the backing plate and then on top of the backing plate, we have the brake pad friction material or sometimes called as a pad lining. And if you look at the end of the brake pad, here we have both ends tapered down at an angle. Most new brake pads comes like this. This is called the brake pad chamfer. When the caliper begin to push the brake pads against the rotor, the brake pads begin to vibrate at high frequency. This high frequency vibration is what we hear as the brake squeak. If the brake pad has a straight edge, then this frequency is going to be much higher. So the squeak is going to be much louder. By having these chamfers, the brake pad now has a softer contact pressure against the rotor. So you're going to have reduced brake noise. But as the brake pad wears down, you can see the friction material finally comes to a point where it no longer has any chamfer. This is the time you normally start to hear brake squeak as you step on the brake pedal. Along with these chamfers, another feature comes with your brake pads is the wear indicators. These steel clips right here, this is your wear indicators. So I have this very inexpensive brake pad thickness gauge and if you measure the thickness of this brand new brake pad, we have 12mm of friction material. But as the friction material wears down to the 2mm, which is the minimum thickness of any brake pad, these weigh indicators can screech against the rotor and make squeaking to let you know that the brake pads are worn out. But in high-end cars, they don't have these steel clips. Instead, they have brake pad wear sensors. So you wouldn't see these weigh indicators in high-end brake pads, and also in very cheap brake pads. Now your brake pads can still make noise even if they are not worn out. And that brings us to the reason number two why your brakes make noise which is very cheap work quality brake pads. Brake pads are made of different materials such as organic, semi-metallic and ceramic and those different materials have different properties. So they are used in different applications such as daily driving and racing. For example, many modern cars come with ceramic brake pads and they are usually more expensive to replace. So most people go for cheap replacement brake pads when doing a brake job. But using non-ceramic brake pads in a car that is designed to use ceramic brake pads can easily make your brakes start to squeak. Whether you are using ceramic brake pads or organic brake pads, any good quality brake pad comes with something called anti-vibration shims bonded onto the backing plate. You can see in this brake pad we have a nice fiber reinforced anti-squeak shim molded onto the backing plate. 
This goes in between the brake pad and the brake caliper to absorb any vibrations and they better reduce in the brake noise. But in this cheap brake pad it is just a piece of steel held in place by two rivets, which may not work as good over the time. And that is nothing compared to this brake pad where it doesn't have a shim at all. The next thing you want to look at is where this brake pad is going to go in your brake caliper bracket and that brings us to the third reason why your brakes make noise, which is the worn out brake hardware. In your brake caliper bracket, right where the brake pad get installed, you can see these steel clips. This is your brake hardware. This allows the brake pad to slide in and out smoothly as you apply the brakes. But as your brake pads wear out, so do this brake hardware. And worn out brake hardware can create too much play between the brake pads and the brake caliper bracket, allowing the brake pads to vibrate too much and that can make brake noise. When you buy cheap brake pads, they come with, well, just the brake pads. But when you buy some quality brake pads, they come with this brake hardware. So when you install new brake pads, you always install new brake hardware. So your brake system acts like it is brand new. Also your brake system is prone to collect a lot of brake dust, moisture and dirt. So without proper lubrication, your brake pads might get stuck to the brake hardware. When you press the brake pedal, the brake pads contact the rotor. We already know that. But as you let go of the pedal, the brake pads come off the rotor ever so slightly so that your brake pads are barely not touching the rotor. So if the brake pads are stuck to the brake hardware, then they're not gonna come off the rotor. Instead, they keep rubbing against the rotor all the time, which can easily make a continuous brake squeak. When the brake pads are rubbing against the rotors, the friction material gets very hot and the contact area start to glaze. This might make your brakes very noisy and the worst of all, Glazing can lower the coefficient of friction on the friction material, so your car might even lose some of the stopping power, and that is pretty bad. Glazing can also happen due to hard braking as well. Oftentimes, you can easily identify any glazing just by having a good look at your rotors. You want to look for any shinier spots than the rest of the rotor, and if you found any, you want to get a medium grit sandpaper and lightly scratch the area in a circular motion. Glazing can also happen in brake pads as well, so you want to do the same to the brake pads with the sandpaper. This will even remove any contaminants that might be sitting on the brake pads. Not only the brake pads, but sometimes the brake caliper can get stuck. And that brings us to the reason number 4 why your brakes make noise, which is lack of lubrication. Oftentimes when people replace the brake pads, they just lift up the caliper, install the brake pads, and that's it. In order to keep your brakes working properly, this brake caliper is supposed to slide in and out very easily. And that job is done by these two guide pins. And that's why these guide pins need lubrication. To get to the guide pins, first you want to remove the two bolts that hold the caliper and these are your guide pins. To protect the guide pins from getting corroded and contaminated by dirt and moisture, we have these rubber boots sitting over the guide pins. But over the time the rubber seals may become weak, so the dirt can get into the guide pins and the brake caliper can get stuck in place. When the brake caliper gets stuck, so do your brake pads. So the brake pads start rubbing against the rotor all the time, which can easily make, well, you guess it, a continuous brake squeak. So to stop this from happening, you want to apply a decent amount of lubricant to both guide pins and also on the brake hardware where the brake pads get installed. Because the brakes are working at higher pressures and higher temperatures, it is very important to use the right lubricant on your brakes. To see which lubricant works the best for your car, you can always have a look at the service manual. Now when you buy some quality brake pads, you also get two new bolts for these guide pins with pre-applied tread locker, so these bolts wouldn't back out as you drive. So now you can realize that you can easily fix brake noise just by using some good quality brake pads. The biggest problem with these cheap brake pads is that sometimes they have uneven material distribution throughout the brake pad. So when these brake pads rubbing against your rotors as you press the brakes, your rotors also gonna start to weigh unevenly. Speaking about the rotors, the reason number 5 why your brakes make noise is the worn out brake rotors. As your brake pads wear out, so do these brake rotors. You can see in this rotor, there's a lot of grooves carved into the rotor, which is going to create an uneven surface between the brake pads and the rotor, probably because of the use of cheap brake pads. Now this can also happen if you drive off-road because the dirt and sand can get in between the brake pads and the brake rotor. Speaking about off-road, anytime you drive off-road, there's a chance your rotors get hit by rocks and get warped, or sometimes even these dust covers can get bent and start scratching against the rotor. This can easily create a continuous or rhythmic brake noise. Now even if you install brand new brake pads for this rotor, the new brake pads still gonna grab onto these grooves as you apply the brakes, so soon it'll start to make noise again. So in this case, you wanna resurface the rotor before you install new brake pads. In my case, I decided to go with brand new brake rotors. Speaking about brand new brake rotors, most brake rotors are made of cast iron, 
because cast iron has good heat dissipation properties and also good friction properties. But the biggest issue with the cast iron is that they tend to rust over the time. This is not a concern for a car that is driven on a daily basis, but a big concern for cars that are not driven too often. Because over the time, the rust can build up to a pretty decent amount. So as you press the brakes, this layer of rust gets sandwiched between the brake pads and the rotor, and this could easily make brake noise. All right, now it is time to move on to the worst brake noise of them all, which is brake grinding. If you hear a grinding noise from your brakes, that indicates something in your brake system is seriously worn out to a dangerous level. So you definitely want to take a look at your brakes before it's too late. Now that's what I'm talking about. This inside brake pad is so worn out that this is just a backing plate. Here's another thing you need to know. Because this inside brake pad is in direct contact with the brake caliper piston all the time, this brake pad is always the first to be in contact with the rotor as you press the brakes. So it is very common for the inside brake pad to have more wear on it than the outside brake pad. That is why whenever you replace brake pads, you always want to install the brake pad with the way indicator to the inboard side, not to the outboard side. Also, you can see right where the brake pads sit on the rotor. There's two ridges. Now, if you're going to install new brake pads on this rotor, then the brake pad will hit these ridges and will start to squeak. So before you install the new brake pads, it is a good idea to use a sandpaper to smooth out these ridges. But in my case, I'm replacing both brake pads and also the rotors. So that is something I don't have to worry about. And that takes us onto the rear brakes. Brake noise can come from your front brakes or from your rear brakes. Now in this car, the rear brakes are also disc brakes just like the front brakes. So everything we discussed so far apply to these brakes as well. But in some cars like this Mazda, the front brakes are disc brakes, but the rear brakes are drum brakes. Now in these drum brakes, instead of brake pads, we have brake shoes. Instead of brake rotor, we have a brake drum. Instead of a brake caliper piston, we have a wheel cylinder. So as we apply the brakes, this wheel cylinder pushes the brake shoes out, allowing the brake shoes to squeeze against the brake drum. This creates a lot of friction, which slows the car down. So this is a slightly different setup to the disc brakes, but still the same principles apply in terms of how it works. So just like in disc brakes, worn out brake shoes, poor quality brake shoes, worn out brake hardware, lack of lubrication, and last but not least, worn out brake drums can make brake noise. Unlike in disc brakes where the brake dust from brake pads can fly off in the air, drum brakes are enclosed systems. So most of the time the brake dust is collected inside the brake drum. So this brake dust can get in between the brake drum and the brake shoes and this can make brake noise as you apply the brakes. So sometimes you can easily stop your brake noise just by cleaning your brakes. Speaking about the cleaning, only use a brake cleaner whenever you clean brake parts because this stuff is designed to use in brakes. Since we are talking about drum brakes, I have one last thing which is often the most forgotten part in any brake system, which is the emergency brakes. This can be your hand brakes, foot brakes, or even electronic parking brake. And all this does is lock up the rear wheels. Now even if your car has rear disc brakes, most of the time, you still have drum brakes for the emergency brakes hiding behind your brake rotors. So you want to make sure nothing is worn out or rubbing against each other, which can make brake noise. And that wraps up my top 5 reasons why your brakes make noise. So go check out your brakes before it's too late. Also if you want to learn how to replace your brakes, then check out my video on how to replace your brake pads and rotors. It's going to be jam packed with useful tips and tricks. I'll be putting a stop to all the misconceptions and doubts on how to properly and safely replace the brakes in your car. As always, if you like this video, press that like button. We have a lot more videos coming up just like this. So if you haven't subscribed, definitely consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.